This video will explain how to wire the Auto Purge Ball Valve 2 to an Omron timer. Please note, this product should be installed, commissioned, and maintained by qualified and authorized personnel only. Install according to installation instructions and comply with all national and local codes. Use electrical wire that is sized and rated for the maximum voltage and current of the application. Do not perform installation while the equipment is connected to power. To wire the ball valve, you will need both a Phillips and standard screwdriver, a small electronic screwdriver, an adjustable wrench, Allen wrenches, wire cutters, and wire strippers. You should prepare a blue, white, red, and green wire to each have two stripped ends. Unscrew the bolt on the red indicator dial and then remove it from the unit. Then. Unscrew the four screws holding the shell together and put the top part off to the side. Remove one of the conduit ports from the housing and replace it with the conduit port adapter. Lead your wires through the conduit hole so the outer shell can be reinstalled later. Connect the blue wire to port number 1 on the actuator's board. To do this, unscrew the pin until the hole is open wide enough for the wire to fit inside. Then, screw the pin to secure the wire in place. Put the white wire in port number 2 and the red wire in port number 3. Connect the green wire to the ground screw inside the ABV2. Make sure that the manual shaft lines up with the hole in the outer shell, and put the shell back onto the unit. Reattach the four screws. Put back the red indicator dial, making sure that it is pointing between the open and closed positions to ensure accurate readings during operation. Now it's time to wire the timer. Pull off the relay backing to the Omron timer. It may take a little wiggling. The timer ports are numbered counterclockwise from the bottom center. Starting with 1, and ending with 8. Connect the red wire to port number 3. Loosen the screw and place the wire underneath, then tighten the screw to secure the wire end. Connect the blue wire to port number 4. Put the white wire in port number 7. It will need to fit underneath the wire already there. Then, reattach the relay backing to the Omron timer. Now, connect power to the exposed male connector of the fuse and to the bottom prong on the manual purge switch. Connect the green wire end to the ground screw on the timer unit. The Auto Purge Ball Valve 2 is now wired and ready for use with your Omron timer. We hope that helps you understand how to set up your valve. If you need more help, give us a call or send us an email.